Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas day number five. The boys have been up super early this morning. Ron lost his car keys this morning, which meant like a massive house hunt for their car keys. Um, but luckily we found him now and Ron's popped to the gym. Um, and yeah, let's see what that naughty elf has been up to last night. But look, they've put your pants on the tree. And they're even wearing our pants. <laughs> Day number six, I think they're gonna hang trousers on the Christmas tree. <laughs> and a t-shirt. Are they gonna dress the Christmas tree in clothes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm back from dropping the kids off and I'm just about to enjoy a very healthy breakfast of avocado, tomatoes, kale and egg um, with some sparkling water and then I'm going to crack on with my editing um, but Ron's just about to leave for work so I'm going to make him open his advent calendar first and then yeah then I'm going to crack on with my editing of vlogmas day number four. Good morning guys. <laughs> day number, day number five. five of vlogmas. I'm so excited to open my present. Oh, Plectrum's awesome! What's this, baby? Open it. Oh, nice, a little change for the side. For your jeans. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a Where's lot. your chocolate? Oh, I always forget the chocolate. I've got a limp. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So this morning has just completely run away from me. Um, I edited the vlog for Vlogmas Day 4. That's already and uploaded. Did the thumbnail for that. So that's all ready to go. I think day number four was definitely one of my favourite vlogs that I've done so far. Um, I was just really, really happy with the overall editing and the overall footage and stuff that I got. So really happy about that. I went and picked up Liam already. It's day number five today. <laughs> it's day number five today. Um, and we are just about to go and get Tyler. Liam is gonna be a wise man in his nativity play. We just got his lines and stuff today, didn't we? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna practice some lines and songs with him over the next few days because um, his nativity play is next Wednesday which is super cute and exciting. I've literally just been cleaning all morning so I haven't really picked up the camera. It was his friend Edward's birthday so got some Harry bow didn't you today? It's the last one. It's the last one. Go on then have it. No I don't want it. It's yours baby. You have it. Yeah I haven't really picked up the camera. I did two rounds of washing in case you guys are wondering. Put all my dry clothes away. Wash two loads of washing. Um, hung one of them out, I still need to hang another one out. Done all my washing up, cleaned the kitchen, I still need to clean the front room. Um, and then I started going through emails and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done. I still need to empty my recycling bin and some other little housey chores. Um, there's a few things that I need to go through in the evening, um, which I think you guys will probably enjoy. So I'll probably do a bit of filming in the evening and again we're gonna go get the boys do advent calendars and all that kind of stuff so sorry it's not the most exciting day today guys um but i hope you're still enjoying it and yeah let's see what we get up to this evening it is these want gingerbread man they've got gingerbread man Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is so cute. So they've got a little toolbox for their tools now. 
And they've got a little vice to go on the end of the table, which I just think is so cute. Oh, you Your little that? Santa's workshop's coming together so nicely, isn't it? Yeah, what's a vice? What do you a mean vice is when they um, grip something in it to keep it steady when they're working on it. Come on. It's cool, isn't it? So the boys are just playing with their advent calendar toys and stuff and eating their sweeties. I'm just about to start doing their dinner, but I just got a delivery from um, Good Molecules. Um, somehow I'm on their PR list and I'm so, so grateful. Um, so the Good Molecules has sent me their silicone-free priming moisturizer. So this I feel like definitely will need to be tested out tonight um, and there's a few other Good Molecules products that I haven't actually tried yet so I feel like a Good Molecules skincare routine is exactly what I need to be doing tonight so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I also still need to do my online shopping um, but I'm going to sort out dinner, have dinner with the kids first and then then crack on with my evening <laughs> So dinner is all eaten and I'm just about to jump in the shower um, and I'm going to be trying out the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Mm. Um, while I'm in the shower I like to do my cleansing so I'm going to use the cleansing balm while I'm having my shower and then when I get out I'm going to be trying out the new Silicon Free Priming Moisturiser and a couple of other products that I haven't been able to try yet which is the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil and also the Hyaluronic Acid Serum so, so, so excited Whoa! Oh, this is the story of it Day number five is no, I right. got, I got to open it I got to open it upon a time in a land far far away an old woman named Mother Guru passed a magical golden flower. Can I wait to go to bed? Yep. Good night! Wait, what you the video? Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. So after my shower, um, I feel really nice and fresh now. <laughs> Um, I used the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm to clean my face and to get all my makeup off. Um, I only had like mascara on, but still, it's probably the most stubborn makeup product there is. And this was incredible, guys. My skin feels so soft and cleansed. And usually, when I have like a hot shower, I've got quite a lot of like peely, dry patches on my face, and it hasn't done that. It's been super hydrating um, as well, because like as the balm sort of melted in my hands, it turned into sort of like an oil, which was really, really nice. Um, and hydrating as well as sort of cleansing so it's like cleansing and nourishing and I really really liked it so yeah this is definitely worth checking out guys the Good Molecules instant cleansing balm was lovely now I'm going to go in with the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum I love Hyaluronic Acid um, it's like super super hydrating so it's just what I need so I'm just going to pop some of this on my face So many of you wanted me to try out the Good Molecules products as well, so I'm so glad that I'm doing this in a vlog for you all. So that is my serum on, feels amazing, feels really really good. Um, next I'm going to go in with the Ultra Hydration Facial Oil. Now this you can use as sort of like your final step in the routine or you can use it under moisturiser as well. So. We're going to use it under moisturiser because it's our evening routine and we just want all that moisture for the night. It's sort of giving my face a bit of a golden glow as well, that has, that's really nice. It's really nice, really like that. It's giving my face a really nice healthy look as well. Really happy with that. And last but not least, we're going to go with the Silicon Free Priming Moisturiser. So, let's do this. couple of pumps on the back of my hand guys my skin looks and feels incredible so yeah I'm actually really, really happy with this little routine that I've got here it's like another little 
selection of products that I'm really, really happy. They work amazingly with each other and yeah, I'm just super excited to see how my skin looks and feels in the morning and obviously with continued use. Um, I'm a little bit gutted because day number five of my advent calendar was actually the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser, which I've been dying to try, but I've already sort of moisturised and done on my routine. So this is definitely going to be on my dressing table waiting to get its first chance um, because I absolutely love the smell of this, the sound of this, everything about this makes me so happy and excited. So yeah, soon I will be trying Glow Recipe 1, but that was day number five in my Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. Also, I got two deliveries today, so I'm just going to open those up as well. They're both from Cult Beauty. Um, they were actually from my gift vouchers. So I got a gift voucher in my advent calendar, my Cult Beauty advent calendar, which I wanted to spend early. And also I got a gift voucher in my Cult Beauty goodie bag um, when I placed um, an order last. So I had some money to spend and I've been dying to try out the ordinary products for quite a while so I got myself some so from the ordinary I got the caffeine solution um, the buffet multi technology peptide serum which sounded really really good and um, I also got um, the L absorbic acid powder which just sounded super super interesting so yeah it looks really cool and but really excited to give that a try with the little scoop no idea what that's gonna do um, but we will see Um, also got the I don't know how to say this the niacinamide the niacinamide yep <laughs> Ron's home by the way guys Um, also got the lactic acid and then I also got their light coverage serum foundation as well, um, which I thought looked so interesting. I really hope I've got my right shade. It looks like a fairly good match. Um, but yeah, I've never tried their foundation and I've always wanted to. So they are the bits that I picked up. I'm probably not gonna try them in the next week or so because I've been trying so many new skincare products at the minute. I really wanna take it easy on my skin and not go over the board with too many new skincare products. Um, but yeah, they are going straight into my skincare drawer to try out. And yeah, just really, really excited. When I get my little Bunsen burner out, you guys know what time it is. It's marshmallow time. <laughs> Day number five is salted caramel. Ron, do you want me to save you some? What's that? Salted caramel. No, I'm thinking. Oh, could this be the butterscotch? We're about to find out. It smells divine. I don't know what's better, the butterscotch or the salted caramel. Mm. I'm just trying to place an Ikea order at the moment online for some bits, um, for some drawers, um, some Alex drawers, which I'm so excited about getting. Um, I've got two Alex 5 drawers, that's what I'm ordering. Um, but the website online is messing up, so I'm going to have to order it on my phone. Um, and then I'm going to go and check out... Um, I need a couple of bits from Superdrug and then I've got a couple of bits in mind for Ronald which he's not allowed to look or listen to so I might have to do that on my phone. What's that? Christmas shopping. <laughs> he's right over there um, so I don't think I'll get away with doing that on my laptop so I think I'm going to have to do that on my eye, on my phone as well. I'm gonna have to do that on my phone as well, um, but the super drug one I should be able to do on here fairly easily. It's literally just picking up a um, couple of hair dyes because I wanna dye my hair and also a couple of foundations as well because I need to start doing um, makeup for my portfolio and um, for my VTCT. So I just need like one or two more foundation shades so that I've got 
a range that I can use um, on people. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a couple of foundations and some hair dyes, grab this from Ikea and then do some shopping for the world. Right, that is my Ikea products ordered. They're gonna be coming on Sunday, which is so exciting. Um, just ordering the super drug things now. So luckily the colorista L'Oreal Colorista Effect Ombre Hair Dye is actually buy one get second one half price so I've saved a bit of money on that and that's the exact same kit that I used to do my hair last time so I did do my own hair so I know it works it's just whether I can remember how I did it because it was so long ago now that I've done it um, I can't actually remember <laughs> how I did it um, so I could end up a hot mess if I'm completely honest, this could go horribly wrong again, me dyeing my hair. Ron, what do you think? Do you think I could pull it off? What colour are you getting? So I'm doing like this blonde bit again, but I'm just doing it like higher up. You know like how I did this? Mm. I'm just making it higher. Okay. Do you think that I could do it? Or? Give it a go, we'll find out. <laughs> well, it's going to be a good vlogmas video anyway. <laughs> me destroying my hair for a whole day <laughs> love it um yeah so that's buy one get one half price so i've saved a good chunk of money on that i also got a free tote bag with my order so that's great um i'm just gonna grab a couple of the foundations that i need as well and then that'll be that done and then i can do some fun shopping for fun art so i've got a couple of the foundation shades that I wanted. Um, I love using the EX1 foundation. I just think it's so, so nice and such good color matches as well. So I've just grabbed a couple of varieties of that. Um, I do also want to get some of the Conceal and Define concealers as well from Revolution because they are really, really good. Or do I want the Barry M ones? Oh, this is such a hard decision for me. I've said I'm going to go for the Barry M All Night Long Concealer. It's one of my bridal dyes. Um, Mama Mama Mitchell from Instagram also swears by it and he uses it a lot. So yeah, I'm going to go for the Barry M All Night Long Concealer. It's one of my favourites. So I'm just going to get a couple of shades of that as well. Stream discount's gone back to only being in store. That sucks. Now I need to come off of the computer minimize all that because I can't let Ronald see what I'm shopping for oh my gosh guess what Bella I just hit 54 and a half thousand subscribers wow. I can't believe it literally only a few days ago I hit 54,000 that's super sunny I'm gonna cry I swear like if I hit 55 I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna what did she think was you <laughs> Ron hates it when I use my feet to do the autofocus. <laughs> it's just become such a habit now to like reach out. Should we go to Dubai in February? Should we go to Dubai in February? Of course. When am I ever going to say no to that? Um, yeah, I can't believe I've hit 54,500. I just, oh, that's crazy to me. It's actually insane to me that I've hit that now. Madness, madness, I can't believe it. During Vlogmas last year, I hit 4,000. That's how much it's come on this year. 4,000 subs. 4,000 subs I had during, last Vlogmas, towards the end, I hit 4,000 subs. So in one year, you got 50,000 subs. That is insane. That blows my mind. Literally just a couple of days ago, I hit 54,000, now I've gained another 500. Like, can you imagine 500 people standing in front of you? Mm. Every single one of them has clicked the subscribe button like in the last few days. Like, what? I can't even fathom it. Blows my freaking mind. But yeah, no, I'm so excited. Like, we're gonna hit 55 soon. Like probably by next week we'll hit 55. Or like during next week we'll hit 55. Like, I 
oh, I don't even know. Like, what would I be on by the end of the year? Like, what would I be on going into 2020? And thinking of that, what would I be at the end of 2020? Mm. Like, how much would this channel and this YouTube bubble would have grown? Thank you. Thank you so much to each and every person watching this video that has subscribed to my channel. Like, even if you haven't subscribed, even if you're just watching this video, it means the world to me. So thank you so much. And yeah, I just, I can't believe it. I'm actually going to be doing like a best bits of 2019 video for the end of the year. I'm hoping to post it on the 31st of December. So if you guys have any favorite parts of any video of mine from this year please let me know because i want to include it in the video i have so many videos that i need to actually work through and pick out clips from so if you guys have any particular best funniest parts of any of my videos whether that's ron going through the advent calendars the rubbish advent calendars or anything like that guys please let me know down in the comments because i'd love to know what parts of 2019 on my channel were your favourite? I think that would be really, really fun and interesting to look through and read through as well. So, yeah, let me know down below. And, yeah, guys, that is it. I think that is it for today's vlog. I'm going to end it here because all I'm literally going to do now is just buy Ron, like, one or two pieces that I've seen for him today that I really wanted to get him for Christmas. So I'm literally going to do that and then that is it. That is my evening done. Um, I need to get on and do a bit of studying. It's quarter past nine so I don't know how much reading I'm going to be able to get done. Um, but I'm going to try my best to get a ton of reading done tonight and note taking. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry if it was boring or if it was a bit yeah, bland today. It was like a really boring day in terms of me just doing like my laundry and my cleaning and rubbishy household jobs that are not the most fun to watch in a vlog so apologies for that guys but these days come I'm just a normal mum trying to run a household and it's just yeah some days are boring <laughs> some days are not that fun and entertaining but I hope you enjoyed it all the same I hope you enjoyed watching the boys open their advent calendars and then Ron opening his advent calendar and stuff I hope you enjoyed all that and enjoyed me doing my face routine and trying out some new skincare products and stuff and yeah that's the end of vlogmas day number five it's been a good day and thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you tomorrow guys take care Bye!